We all love playing mobile games, but what's better than playing mobile games? Playing with friends. So I decided to put together a list for you today of 10 mobile games that are some of the best experiences that when you play them, you don't play them alone. Pull in a few of your friends, download these titles, and try them out because I think you're gonna have a blast. Let's start off today's list with Tower of Fantasy. This is an MMORPG role-playing game with 5 million downloads and 4 stars. And no, it's not just a rip-off of Genshin Impact. This game is actually quite a bit of fun with lots of depth inside of the game that you can experience with others. Put yourself in positions where you and a teammate can go in together and see some success, dance together in the parties, or play some of the mini games that the game has to offer. If you're looking for a large open world style game with an anime theme and that really just has some solid graphics and a great experience on both mobile and PC, and you want to do it with friends, Tower Fantasy is a great option. Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. This one is going to be launching in just a few days. And my god, it's going to take the mobile gaming scene by storm. Battle Royale style combat, you can hop into vehicles as well and jump into the game with friends to dominate the competition. It's taking Call of Duty Mobile and boosting it to the next level. Or is it? We're going to have to see. Either way, if you decide to play Warzone or COD Mobile, both are great with friends. Brawlhalla takes you into a realm where you're going to be playing alongside of others and trying to beat each other down off the platforms with different characters that the game has to offer. There are tons of different characters you could play as with different game modes you could play in, but really, this experience is best against other players. And what other better players to play against than your best of friends? Here, combat is different depending on what you choose to play as. You can choose to play with melee style weapons or you can use something ranged and all of the different classes and all of the different characters well they have different options for you they're all unique in their own right and it's just straight up a ton of fun super smash brothers and maybe even better you could argue that out after you play the game Brawl Stars is a top-down style 3v3 battler brought to us by Supercell Games probably the best mobile gaming developer in all of mobile gaming Brawl Stars has many different game modes where you can play as many different brawlers, all with different abilities, skills, and upgrades. You can really fuse a great team together of three based on the game mode and based on the brawlers that you choose. This game is also in esports and really has some big cash prizes if you become one of the better players inside of the game. It's actually quite addicting. I'll remind you that any Supercell game that you decide to play, if you use code ECHO, it directly supports me on the channel so input code echo support your boy and brawl stars one of the most successful games on mobile of all time but if you're looking for a mech style combat game i chose war robots for one that's great to play with friends it's been around for a while has 100 million downloads and 4.3 stars and inside of this shooter style pvp game you're playing as a mech if that weren't already obvious. But the cool thing is you upgrade your mech to battle the way that you want it to battle along the way. You're gonna take pride in your builds and really enjoy when you take your creations and demolish your competition. Now maybe your team will be comprised of friends or maybe they'll be your enemies. Now I was looking for a different fighting style game to add to the list today. One that has some good multiplayer and one that you could play with friends. And I settled in on Mortal Kombat. It has 100 million downloads and 4.2 stars and is definitely a nice rendition of Mortal Kombat made for mobile. Many different characters that you could choose from inside of this game where you're going to be able to put together your team to make it an unstoppable force against anyone that you compete against. Playing with friends in fighters is an amazing experience. Now let's go a little bit more casual here with Golf Battle. Hear me out. This game is just straight up fun. There's something about playing golf, putting it in and being able to play with other people that's just quite rewarding and just a lot of fun. I also like how the maps inside of this game are not super realistic, but also they're not so far-fetched and out there that they're completely unbelievable. This game is something that you could really enjoy when you're bringing it to the competition, playing against with randoms or with your friends. There's something really cool about gloating a little bit after you get yourself a hole in one and your friends are stuck out in the uh, in the high grass or maybe in the sand pit. Just a fun, casual experience. Nothing that's going to take up a ton of your time, but something that you can get some quick rounds in at night before you go to bed or 
in midday on your lunch break when you're looking to say what's up to your boys. Now, there's a lot of competition in the MOBA genre, but today I chose Arena of Valor as the game to feature on the list. This is a MOBA that's been around for, shoot, six years now, and is very popular in countries outside of the US. It does struggle a little bit in the United States for popularity. With that being said, the game is one of the best in genre. It's absolutely amazing. It does well for MOBAs, and it does what MOBAs are supposed to do, basically with perfection. Not only this, though, it also brings in characters that we all know and love from the Marvel Universe and so on. Take your three lane battles into this one. You could come in with your friends, work together on a team, tons of heroes to choose from, upgrades galore, and just a really nice looking game as well. All the champions look really cool and it's just a really smooth playing game. So if you're looking for a MOBA, there's a lot of options. This is one that I quite like though. Now, when you're looking at games that are in the horror genre where you need to try and escape from the demon, from the monster, from the beast, there are a few titles to choose from, and I typically choose Identity 5. But today, I'm gonna share with you guys Dead by Daylight Mobile. This is a game that's on PC, extremely popular, and the mobile rendition of it plays out very well also. It's quite creepy, but you're probably wondering, what do I have to do inside of this game? You and three of your friends need to try and escape from the monsters before the monsters take all of you out. This game requires extreme teamwork. You're gonna have to unlock the gates so that you all can escape by decoding the mechs along the way. You can tell when danger is near with that heartbeat. And you could also play as the beast that's on the hunt. So there's many ways that you can enjoy this game. All of them are best with your friends. Now, in an attempt to bring you something different and not your typical card style game on mobile, I went with The Witcher card game instead of doing something like a Marvel Snap or Hearthstone that you may more anticipate being on this list. The Witcher is amazing. The story of it, the lore of it, the show, the games, they are all really great. And now you could have a strategy style card game experience where you can play against your friends and really have some casual yet strategy driven fun. The graphics in the game are really nice and the experience is exciting. The game sits with 5 million downloads and 4.3 stars, so we're not looking at one of the most popular card style games, but maybe a little bit more of a hidden gem that you and your friends would want to try out together that I personally think you would like. I'm going to introduce you right now to Bomb Squad. It has 50 million downloads and 4.5 stars, and what we're looking at here is essentially hockey and capture the flag mixed together. It's a 8v8 style multiplayer game that's gonna be filled with explosions and just brutal experiences between you and your teammates. So it's a 4v4, eight player thing right here that's really a lot of fun. You also have modes where you can uh, take each other on on the solo. Really casual, funny, light, yet addicting game that you could play with friends. 